What's going on, everybody? All right, so we have six DC updates. As always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. Let's keep going and let's keep growing. You already know the motto. All right, so look, check this out with this first update. Very interesting, but at the same time, it's no surprise. All right, so the DCU's only multiverse film tops Deadpool and Wolverine. So they're using the flush as you know something that tops off with Deadpool and Wolverine's success this is sad what they're trying to do and trying to use you know but you know it is what it is I mean we are where we are but at the same time they did try you know to use the multiverse but it really didn't work out with what they did with the flush you know and you know we got what we got and overall it was just a big letdown and you know with Deadpool they're the ones that are winning right now with it and you know they they succeeded at it and dc they just completely let us down all right so the next update apparently there's going to be a new um wonder woman so they look like they're going with a more muscular you know type of a female role if you want to say and <laughs> I don't even know what to say on this, honestly. You know, like, DC is just being, you know, DC. And I don't know. I don't know. You know, this is all just uh, sad where it's where it continues to head, you know. And look, to replace Gal Gadot, that's, uh, that's kind of a letdown as a fan. You know, like, she played her role really good. And she captured Wonder Woman really good. I remember at the beginning, everybody was talking down and saying she wouldn't have been good. And, you know, she did an amazing job as wonder woman she captured that role to the fullest and of course what we saw in batman versus superman was amazing i remember in the theater scene when she first appeared that was just wow like jaw opening everybody was like in shock when she first appeared and what they're trying to do now who knows what they're trying to do you know it's just the dcu just become into what it is and you know just playing their same games that they're always trying to you know push and stuff like that but um, as always, you know, Gal Gadot's going to be Wonder Woman for me, you know, and whoever comes in, you know, they're going to have to fill in, you know, her shoes, which it's not going to be, uh, you know, easy for them to do. But yeah, this is where it's at. Another update. This is interesting for Superman and Lois. All right. We have a uh, season four here. We have Doomsday. This looks actually good. And this kind of looks like they're, you know, copying what Zack Snyder gave us in Batman vs. Superman with that version of Doomsday. And that's pretty dope. I actually like this. I get a lot of people didn't like that Doomsday version. And, you know, it is what it is. But I liked it overall. You know, that was a pretty dope design. And, you know, who knows what would have happened if, you know, WB would have allowed Zack to continue and to do his vision. But, you know, this is uh, what we got and we're getting. And I think this is pretty cool right here, what they're doing. So, you know, it's like, they're also saying hey you know that version of doomsday is the one we like we want to go with and you know and in a way you want to say it, it's it's canon then that's uh what you want to say that's fine you know but to me that's pretty dope i like it you know no I, I really like that all right another update very interesting so we have apparently there's a rumor going around that james gunn is going to be at new york comic con ready the armada everyone if you're going to new york comic con 2024 get ready to ask the serious questions to james gunn about why he's been hiding from us and why he did what he's doing with his whole reboot and don't be surprised if he ends up canceling last minute i wouldn't be surprised they're just trying to build some type of excitement and you know don't be surprised if he ends up showing up quote unquote through a zoom or some type of video call like he did at san diego comic-con but this is a rumor that's going around all right then we have another update check this out when you compare the comics of suicide squad with david ayer's suicide squad there you have the cartoon the comic and what we got with david ayer you know with the live action and stuff that's pretty awesome that's pretty cool that's why it cracks me up when people are like oh it's not true to the source yes it is look it's right here you know the proof is right here but that's pretty dope. Let's keep on fighting for release the air cut. And look, the big update today, all right, August 12th. Look at how low the stocks for WB dropped again. 6.66. This is a record right here. This is completely disappointing. Last time it was at 6.99. It's at 6.66. 
it's dropped even more. You know, this is what happens when you don't listen to your consumers, to your fans, to your audience, and you know, you just reap what you sow. Don't give us what we want, then we're just gonna keep those wallets closed and we will continue to keep them closed. And that's what we have to do. You know, it's like the Joker said in the dark night. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. And the message is, WB, give us the fans, the customers, the consumers, what we want. You don't give us what we want, this is the outcome. You brought this upon yourselves, but you can redeem it. Listen to the fans and give us what we've been asking for a while. Restore the Snyderverse and release the air cut. As always, these are the updates that I came across. Hit that subscribe, drop your comments, and until next time.